Hey guys, um, Wolverine's here, uh, bringing you a brand new Let's Play, Pokemon Ruby Destiny Reign of Legends, a Pokemon Ruby um, ROM hack. I know right now I still have Binding of Isaac that I haven't even touched in God knows how long because I've been off the face of YouTube. Um, what happened was with that is, well, let's break it down. My house was shitty. Lost my house, stayed at my mom's, got a new house with my girlfriend, didn't have internet, now I got internet. Only problem is, Isaac only runs if you have internet, and I was out of practice. So I gotta do a little bit more practice with Isaac before I go back to it, but I felt like I've made you guys wait long enough, and if I don't start now, I'm never gonna wanna start. So, here we are. Okay. Welcome to Pokemon Ruby Destiny, Reign of Legends. Alright, so obviously, our options, tech speed fast, battle scene, we'll keep the battle scene on. Shift, stereo, mono, doesn't matter because I don't want sound on. Frame, uh, any cool frames here? Or am I stuck going with black? Yeah, um, I think we're going to be stuck with black, guys. Sorry if that's not cool or it's not original, but... Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, my girlfriend over there, she's painting, so I figured I'd do some recording. But, yeah, I believe if Rainbow Serpent over there needs me, it'd be okay. So let's see here. And as in every game, you get a professor. Well, hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Bitch and Birch. But everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. I know that much. This is what we call Pokemon. No. I thought that was a Big Mac. Obvious professor is obvious. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Yeah, I've been playing it long before you were programmed, dude. It's okay. We humans love us alongside Pokemon, at times as friendly playmates, and at times as cooperative workmates. And sometimes we band together and play guitar. No, wrong kind of band, sorry. And battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are? My boy or my girl? I'm a boy. I'm a man. I'm a man's man. And of course, everybody knows my name when I play Pokemans. He's weaving. Yay! I got my red hat, which shows blue. Ah, okay. You're Wyvern, who's moving to my hometown as Sunford. I get it now. Well, it's not rocket science, dude. Alright. Are you ready? I don't know. Do I have everything? I still need my cheeseburger. Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage. Leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventures, and America, I mean, friendship, awaits. You just kept going, how about I supposed to shoot America in there? Fuck it. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. Well, this is the one thing about Pokemon I found creepy. Old guys bringing children into their lab without their parents being there. Yeah, I don't think that would fly in the real world. Oh my gosh. We've ridden. We're home, honey. It must be tiring riding with our things in the moving truck. God damn, woman. You're so cheap. I gotta ride with the mo I gotta ride with the furniture? I mean, at the back of the truck? It's like 180 degrees? You fuck. No wonder Dad left you. Well, this is Sunford Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. It has a quaint feel. But it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? Oh, I guess. And you get your own room, Wyvern. <gasps> I don't have to sleep in the same room with you, Ma. <gasps> I really get my own room? You promise? Let's go inside. See, Wyvern, isn't it nice here, too? The Movers Pokemon do all the work for moving us in and cleaning up after. This is so convenient. Wyvern, your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad bought you a new clock to mark our move here. Don't forget to set it. So, Dad didn't leave us? 
I'm surprised I would have left you. Making your son ride in the back of the riding car. What the fuck are you doing? Get back to work. Quit watching my TV. No, that's my porn. Don't touch it. Damn, Pokemon. What are you doing? You're walking the same box left and right. Do you not have other boxes to carry? It's like, this is the only box, so it seem like I'm doing work, I'm going to carry it right around over the place. And don't break my dishes. However, if you see my mom's dildo, throw that thing out. Okay, up the stairs. My old bedroom. I don't want to sleep with mom anymore. I got a TV and a GameCube. And a computer. What's in the computer? Got a potion. Gotta set my clock. I said my clock. Dirty people. Six, seven, eight, eleven. Okay, so it's five, ten. Oh, there you go. Yay! Okay. Wyvern, how do you like your new room? Good. Everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything into downstairs, too. Pokemon movers are so convenient. Oh, you should make sure that everything is all there on your desk. Yeah, because that damn Pokemon is too worried about watching your porn then will take care of my shit. And that other one, I didn't know what it was doing. It was like, it was like moving from one side of the room to the other side. And I'm sitting there like, okay, so let's go see what mom's doing. God damn it, mom, quit watching porn on TV. I'm trying to watch the news. Oh, Wyvern, Wyvern, quick, come quick. What, ma? It's no soft gin. Maybe, Jim, maybe Kevin is on. will be on. Ma, I don't want to watch your porn. We brought you this report. This report from in front of Snow Soft Jim. Good job, bitch. Miss Kevin. Don't know who Kevin is, but we missed it. Oh, it's over. I think Kevin was on, but we missed him. No, really? Oh, yes. One of Dad's friends live in town. Professor Bitch, I mean Birch is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. Uh, you just moved in, Ma, and you already got me running errands and doing chores. And what are you... Wait. I'm, I'm kind of concerned here. One moment. Kitchen. Living room. Walls. My room. Wow. Dad should have kept you. You're so dedicated as a woman, you live in the kitchen. That's what you call a woman. <laughs> What's that? I made that comment in rainbows. I like, excuse me? That's great. All right. So I'm going to meet everybody. Oh. Hello? If you can go inside the tall grass at the sides of the road, wild Pokemon will appear. Okay. Like, Professor Butch spent his days in his lab studying and then he suddenly goes out into the wild to do more research when does professor birch spend time at his home i don't know but why are you whining if you use a pc you can store items in pokemon the power of science is staggering in every pokemon game there's always one guy talking about the power of science it's awesome there's a Pikachu, and a Poochiana, and a Meryl, two Merrells. No, it's Azuril, okay? And apparently there's this big glitch where I can't go in the corner of this hedge. Is it God? Is this the portal to heaven? Or is it a gate to hell? Any other people living in this town? When I was young, I traveled the world as a Pokemon trainer. Now that I've become an old buzzard, my only amusement is watching young trainers battle. Okay, okay. Did you take your Metamucil today? Did you use your turtle shell polish to polish your bald head? Did you braid your Fu Manchu? Are you wearing a diaper? Old people. <laughs> Whatever. Go see the neighbor. Oh, hello. And you are? 
I am dot 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 I have one million dots. Oh, you're Wyvern, our new next door neighbor. Hi. Hello. We have a daughter about the same age as you. Oh, really? Our daughter was excited about making a new friend. How about a boyfriend? Our daughter's upstairs, I think. You're gonna let a boy go upstairs with your daughter? You dumb, dumb woman. <laughs> and we gave women the <laughs> and we gave women the power to vote. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hmm, Pikachu's Pokeball. Uh, don't be touching Pikachu's Pokeballs. Yep, all set, huh? They, this is a girl's room, you know. Yeah, your mom knows too, so, you know. What are you looking for in a guy? Oh, you're wavering, so your move was today. I'm sorry for shouting you like that. That's okay, maybe we can make it up later. Hi, I'm Tamashi. Glad to meet you. I heard about you from my dad, Professor Bitch. I mean, Birch. I was hoping that we could be nice. I was hoping that you would be nice, Wyvern, and that we could be friends. Oh, we could be more than friends if you want. Oh, this is silly, isn't it? I've, I've just met you, Wyvern. <laughs> oh, well. You want a battle? Oh, no, I forgot. I was supposed to help Dad catch him on Pokemon. Wyvern, I'll catch you later. You know she wants the D. <laughs> Anyways. Besides flirting with the neighbor's girl, it's time to go see the professor. This is the worst professor ever. He's invisible. And I can walk through him. It's either that or he's not here, but what's up, dude? Huh? Professor Bitch? I mean, Birch? God damn it, why does everyone call him Bitch? Professor's away on field work. Ergo, he isn't here. No. Oh, let me explain what field work is. It is to study things in the natural environment, like fields and mountains, instead of a laboratory. The professor isn't one for doing desk work. He is the type of person who would rather go outside and experience things and read about them here. He's a man of action. I can respect him. Even though everyone calls him Professor Bitch. Anyways, let's keep going. Oh, I wish I had running shoes. Hey, brat, what's wrong? I can hear someone shouting down the road ahead. What should I do? What should we do? Somebody has to go help. Uh, you got two fucking legs? How about you go out there and help him, you little brat? Help me! And you're getting chased by a dog. Good job. Hello, you over there, please help. In my bag, there's a Pokeball. I don't want to go in your bag and grab your balls. You sick bitch. Okay, so in here we get to pick our Pokemon. We have the Wood Gecko Pokemon Trico, Grass type. The Chick Pokemon Torchic. Nah, when I look at it, with it being a fire type, it just make me think of KFC. And the Mudfish Pokemon, Mudkip. I like Mudkip! And we get to fight the dog. The derg. I'm gonna tackle that derg. Animal beast for the win! Only in video games. Yay! Whew! I was in the tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me, thanks a lot. Oh, hi, you're Wyvern. This is not the place to chat, so come by my Pokemon lab later, okay? Okay. So, Wyvern, I've heard so much about you from your brother. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. But the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with a plum. Huh, I guess you're as good as Kevin. No, bitch. I'm better than Kevin. Okay. Kevin may be my older brother, but he's walking in my shadow. <laughs> oh, yes. Thanks for rescuing me. I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. Uh, can I have the other two as well? No, I'm not giving it a nickname. No, I will. I know what I'm going to call you. Skipper.
If you work at Pokemon and gain, if you work at Pokemon and gain experience, if I work at Pokemon, tell me, sir, where is there a company named Pokemon? You'll make a good trainer. My kid's out on past path catching Pokemon. Say, could I ask you to go and tell her to come back? I have something for the two of you. Sure. Great. Should not have any trouble going there. But be careful, okay? I don't know. I've never been on this side of town, dude. From what I understand, I'm not around. For, I'm not from around here. Uh, so I'm kind of scared. Okay, so. Our region, Gento, consists of four islands. The Pokemon that lives here in Lor in Lorena, Lorena Island are mostly from the Hoenn region. Gento, really? Did you just really use Kanto and just put instead of K-G-E? Like, are we serious, bro? Like, are we serious now? Okay, so I don't want to be bothered with these battles. So I'm just going to fast forward a bit. What's up, dude? If Pokemon get tired, take them to the take them to a Pokemon Center. I know one in Ultima City just beyond the Bug Force. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ultima City? It's like Sephiroth and Kefka going to be sitting there drinking tea and eating crumpets? <laughs> Saying that now, could you imagine a maniacal godlike clown eating crumpets? <laughs> That's great. That's great. Okay. And Rainbow Serpent over here is getting freaked out by a moth. Okay, so let's continue on. Bug Forest. Gento region has four main islands. And there are different kinds of Pokemon living in different islands. Did you just like teleport from in town into the forest before I got here? And I'm just, I swore I didn't see a move from your spot. I mean, because the dude out there just said the same thing. Y'all just get paid to say the same shit? Sounds like it. Yay, free potion. Not better than something that's free. Who the fuck be you? Who are you? Hmm, you look strong. Battle me then. Okay, so apparently we're battling some dude. Question marks. His name is question marks. He was born without a name. Let's slap your ass. Yeah, I win. I'm a wiener. I'm a winner. Yeah. You are strong. Pleasure to meet you. I am Blitz. Was your mom on crack when she named you? For a decent looking person. <laughs> Whoa! Hold on, man. I'm not the one wearing black mascara. So before you go on about decent looking person, don't go look in the mirror. Sure, strong. Well, I'll be leaving now. Let's meet again. Good day. Okay, good day to you too. I'm sitting here recording and the woman just stole my chair. The Pokemon League is only a short distance after the Victory Road. If, you, if you've come that far, what choice do you have but to keep going? Uh, you can always quit and just go home. I mean, they got AA, they got, you know, uh, tobacco patches, uh, dr uh, clinics, a lot of things that, you know, tend to be better for people when they quit, but that's just my opinion. The long and harrowing victory road just above the falls. If you work hard, you may be able to reach that place. But always love your Pokemon. Which is short for Pokemon. I'm just trying to be silly now. How about you, little girl? Hi there, tall person. Hello there, midget. You're a trainer, right? Yep. Uh, yeah. Hehe, <laughs> thought so. One day, I'll be a trainer like you. Yeah? 
Well, I'm going to tell you a sad story, little girl. One day, there was a little girl named Rainbow Serpent. And she looked up her dad. She looked up at her daddy and said, "When I grow up, I'm going to be tall." And she grew up, and she is still short. Moral of the story: You don't always get what you want. Fuck you. <laughs> Love you. Good day to you, young trainer. Our duty is to guard the island south from here. We don't know when it will be available for the public, so until then, no one is allowed to go through this point. That house is locked. Trainers dream to be a champion in the Pokemon League. Oh, where is it? It's over the waterfalls, I think. You do that? A woman thinks? No, I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm sorry, but if the NPCs are going to be women and they're going to be this easy to, you know, trash talk, I can't help it. You should take good care of your Pokemon, even if they... Faint in battle. Quickly go to a Pokemon Center. They're your friends, so take care of them. Yes, Grandma. Living in Lorena is not as bad as I thought it would. This place is great, but I wish I could travel. We came from Bora Bora Island, but decided to move here. Why? Well, it's more peaceful here. Okay. True. Fair enough. I will take that answer. So, I've come to notice this with Pokemon games, guys. And I'm just going to nitpick a little. But why is it the females in almost every single Pokemon game I've ever played ended up in being airheads? Or... Um, perverted sluts. Like, I've noticed that. Like, if you don't know what I mean, go play Pokemon Emerald and just go surfing in the water and talk to all the women. They talk about where they stick their Pokeballs, but they don't have pockets. And it's just like, I don't know. I don't know if Nintendo tries to make them lewd, which is a weird or another word for, you know, creepy or perverted. Or if they try to make women airheads. I don't think they try to. I honestly don't think Game Freak is all about. Let's make women dumb. Let's demoralize them. I think it all comes down to. Because they're NPCs. They just have such generic text. And it's kind of sad. Well. What are we going to do here? And dancing is obsessing over her cookie brownie cake. A steal. Huh? I know. No. If I don't make it past tonight, guys, you know what happened. This is my final video. I will upload it right after this. Everyone must know what happened. She killed me. Nah. Yeah, simple mistake. I apologize. Okay. Kevin became our town's new gym leader. I think he called his family over from the Kanto region. Oh, okay, so me, mom, and him are from Kanto. That's where Ash Ketchum's from. I hope my brother didn't catch Ash's stupidity. I heard it's quite, you know, quite contagious. Um, anyways... I battled Kevin once, but who was he too strong? Yeah, I've always told Kevin to put deodorant on. Why doesn't the guy do that? How would I put it? I just got a... Yeah, he stunk. Uh, there's a way you can put it. I just got a feeling that he lives for stench. I mean, Pokemon. I don't know. I'm bored. I gotta make fun of my family. I don't know why. Because it's fun. Let's say you have six Pokemon. If you catch another one, it is automatically sent to a storage box over a PC connection. Let's say if you weren't old, you would live sooner. And longer. Anyways, besides smacking on old people. The PC-based Pokemon storage system. Whoever made it must be some kind of a scientific wizard. Bill, you're a wizard.
You're a wizard, Bill. This is Hagrid from the other line. You're a wizard, Bill. There are many types of Pokemon. All types have their strengths and weaknesses against other types. You don't say. Ah, oh, damn this game. Loves to target women for stupidity. Depending on the types of Pokemon, a battle could be easier or hard. Just like my Mudkip. <laughs> you thought I was going to say something else. For example, your Mudkip is a water type. No way. It's strong against a fire type. No way. But it's weak against grass type. No way. An electric type Pokemon. This is all new information. How am I going to handle this game? Hello there, trainer. You had a wonderful smile there. I have a hobby. Collecting the profiles of Pokemon trainers. How about it? May I see your profile? No. You are really creepy. Fuck you. When my Pokemon eat an Orberry, it would gain HP. If you eat my fist, does that mean you will lose blood? Come on, let's try it. Fucker. Okay, so. Anything else? The clerk says they're all sold out. I can't buy any Pokeballs. <sighs> this woman probably has a list 100 miles long and her main concern is about getting some balls. Okay, well, continuing on. Can we go back to Kanto? I don't feel comfortable in here. Where has our Wally gone? We have to leave for Veronica Town very soon. Well, you see, Wally is actually on a spaceship millions of miles away trying to stop this evil, you know, robot dude. You know. Oh, uh -uh, wrong Wally. Do apologize. Got a cave here. I want to go in that cave. I want to know what's in that cave. I want to see the cave. I want to hear the cave. Hear me like. Okay, so apparently I'm not going in that cave. Aya! Are you maybe a rookie trainer? I don't know why, but every time I saw Aya, I, I go back to the old Jackie Chan cartoons, the Jackie Chan Adventures cartoons. When I think about Uncle Aya, Jackie. One more thing! And it's like, Uncle has always had this obsession with magic could only beat magic and always saying one more thing to everybody. And it's like, Jackie, I need you go to the store. Oh, one more thing. Your niece is here. <laughs> it's just hilarious. And he always pops someone in the head with two fingers. Badass demon. Pluck, two finger pluck. Agent, you know, like government agent organization. Pluck, two finger pluck. Uncle was badass. Give me a shout out if you enjoyed Uncle when you were a kid. Do you know what Pokemon trainers do when they reach a new town? They first check what kind of gym is in the town. But, 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 I don't want to go to the gym. See, this is Snow Soft City's gym. This is the gym sign. Look for it whenever you're looking for a gym. Der, which way's the gym? This way. Yep, this is the way to gym. Okay, so I'm in a snow covered town, and apparently a Pokemon just attacked my ass. It went in my booty. Um, so what kind of gym is this? Five bucks. Five bucks. Says it's a fire gym. A man that glides in ice? Damn! I figured with the name Soft Snow City, it would have been fire. Duh. Oh my god. I don't know why Pokemon <coughs> games do this. Uh, great ROM hack. Don't get me wrong. It's a beautiful ROM hack. But dude, if you're making a ROM hack for people to play, they've obviously already once played Pokemon. Watch it. Anyways... Besides that, I'm going to go ahead and cut the episode off from here. And the next episode, we'll go inside the gym and 
see our brother Kevin. Hopefully he's not a complete loser and Ash's stupidity didn't rub, on, rub off on him. But for now, I want to thank you guys for coming by. And I'll see you next time. This is the Roman signing out. Later, guys.